Hey guys, I went to a higher-end Senegalese market today, if there is such a thing, and <laughs> I am thrilled to death. I have a Vachette padlock by Asa Abloy. Of course, that belongs to Asa Abloy. I did take it out to inspect it because the price on this was about $22, so quite a bit higher than the locks that uh, you normally see here. And the reason I bought it is because I believe that this is a real Vachette. I looked at it kind of closely in the store. Um, the machining on this looks quite good, very smooth. This is this is very heavy. It's solid brass. It's not that fake pot metal. Uh, the, the core looks pretty tight. It, it all looks pretty tight. And then, of course, when you flip it over, we have, of course, the Vachette name, member of Asa Abloy Group. And then everything on here looks very well executed. The engraving is very well done. It's all the same depth. Uh, no misspellings like we often find on Chinese locks, and it doesn't have the word top security engraved on it anywhere. So I, I honestly believe it is real. This is what the key looks like. So I did kind of look at the other keys, and this, believe it or not, is about the best that I could find. I couldn't find any wild bidding. This is all very similar bidding on this thing. It's almost like a blank, quite honestly. but. Uh, again, I've never seen one of these before. I've seen fake ones, never seen a real one. So I uh, felt like i go ahead and spend the money. Looks like this rotates more than 90 degrees. It rotates 180 degrees. And then comes open. And that was kind of a surprise when I did that the first time in the store. I don't know if you can see down inside of there, but you can see it's convex, the locking mechanism. Concave on one side, convex on the other. So it's not a ball bearing, but it is solid, so you're not going to be compressing it, and you're not going to be shimming this thing. Uh, it looks like you would expect ball bearing. We got round here, but it is not. It's part of that, uh, looks like a brass core in there. Anyway, it does. it is key retaining, but it will lock when the, the shackle is open, which is kind of unusual, but that's just the way it is. It is made in France, after all, so I guess we got to expect a little... You know, a certain level of weirdness. All right, let's see if we can figure this thing out. All right, we got some pretty good access there. Let's see if we can use bottom of the keyway. That's a little cockeyed. Let's try. I'm going to try one of these little serrated ones. Let's see if the little one. That looks like it'll fit in there without screwing things up too much. Let's try to SPP this thing first. I'm going to try a Peterson gem all the way to the rear. A little bit of tension. I'll try to keep this thing centered. And very light tension. We'll start with light and then we can always make it heavier, right? I'm looking for a binder. Uh, felt like three. Felt like two. Back to the rear and start over. Okay, I'm going to try a little heavier tension, see if we can make this thing talk to us. Okay, it felt like uh, pin 5 popped in place. So a little moderate, there we go, moderate tension is what needs to get in this thing. There we go, we got an open all the way over, and of course open like that. Let's try something a little different though. That was. If you guys recall, I bought a fake Vachette here in Africa, oh, I guess a year or two ago, opened it, and it resisted a little more than this actual Vachette did. Let's try, again, we'll use that same tension tool. That seemed to work all right without binding. I'm going to try the back of the pick, and I'm just going to slide it in, and then see if we can just kind of rock our way in. I would expect, it didn't feel like there's any security pins in this thing. Kind of a surprise, quite honestly, and as as was that. So <laughs> I think I prefer the African copy of the Vachette. It seemed to fight a little harder than this than this real one. Let's try. Well, let's try one of our favorite tools. Of course, we know this thing works on good locks, so you know it will work on this one. This is um, a Sparrow's Worm. Okay, again, I'm just going to slide this dude in there, light tension, and just see if we can rake. Again, no <laughs> no security pins whatsoever in this Vachette. I think it is a very high quality. 
in terms of manufacture, but unfortunately the core doesn't seem to be very well executed. So no security pins at all, and uh, I'm I'm quite honestly I'm a little disappointed. I don't think I should have wasted my 22 or 23 bucks on this thing. But there you go. It's too late. Can't return it. I'm the proud owner of a true, honest-to-God Vachette by Asa Abloy Group. Anyway, fellas, thanks for your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. Oh, ho, ho, ho.